It's a miserable day. Gale force winds, crazy winds since yesterday. And the wind will continue for a whole other week, but I think that today's the last day that we have these really dangerous winds. Oh, the last thing I felt like doing was getting out of bed and going to an outdoor building project in the dark and cold. But hey, here we are. It's 7.20 and Marcos comes at 7.30. I'm not gonna lie. I'd much rather be in bed today. Everything okay? Yeah? Before putting the stove in place, I treated the alcove with quartz primer and two coats of white paint. Everywhere else in the house, I'll be using natural whitewash, but I thought it needed a little bit extra protection back there. Having an operating wood-burning stove in the house feels like such a huge milestone and it makes the place feel so much more homey. I'm pretty excited. It just is something I've been waiting for. Did you do? You like the fire? Yes, it's a good girl. I really love this room. It would have been so much easier to do the roof, uh, a shed rather than a gable when I redid it, but this is how it was. And I just love the way it looks. It's like a barn. And when you come in from the other room, it just kind of surprises you because you don't expect it because the other room has a flat roof. And when you go through that wide arch and then suddenly it opens up, I just love that. <laughs> Never ceases to delight me. You can see the roof I was just talking about right here. I just find it so fun and quirky that it pops up like that. 
these houses were built in degrees over uh, many, many years and generations. And this is what I found. So I decided to preserve it. Now that we're at the stage of plastering outdoors, the house is going to transform very quickly. Tommy. Ja, 
Όχι, όχι, σοβα. Every time a wall is fully prepped for the last layer, it gets these lines scorched across it. So when you're building, you learn to just absolutely love the sight of these things because you know it's almost ready. This is a very low ledge just to prevent the rain from flowing completely down the roof and directing it towards the drains. This is not my cat. Unfortunately, there are plenty of strays around. At least we won't have problems with rats and rodents. It's so exciting to see the walls in this state. Next step is white, and that's going to be transformational. There's still plenty to do up here. There's at least a day or two left of details on the roof, as well as the edging of the roof. But we're getting there, and it's really starting to take shape. of sand and cement and lime that this project has taken is astounding. It'll be really interesting to see how much it is in the very end. I can't believe this many weeds came out of this single flower bed. I feel like I just did this a couple months ago. I also gave the citrus trees in the back a really hard pruning because the one on the left had been completely split down the middle and both trees had been damaged during the building process, as well as neglected for many, many years. I have a decision to make quite soon, and I'd be interested to hear your opinion. Do I keep the white frames around the windows here on this side in the door? Or do I go for something more smooth and simple, like I have in the annex? I recently saw this house, and I thought it was really fun the way they played with color. So where I'm staying while I'm doing the renovation, we're also renovating the kitchen. So today they're going to come and take out all the old cupboards. I helped design the new kitchen. There is a local carpenter who's going to be making it. It's pretty exciting. It was quite a job to get it all emptied out. You can see here what's going on. All of the stuff is here in the boxes and we've transferred basically everything we need for cooking and for coffee. And outside here, we have a makeshift washing up area because we won't have a sink for a while. I'll show you the after pictures from this project when it's ready. Here's my acorn nursery. They're coming up. A whole bunch more there. And these are to be planted on the hill up there. I hope you've enjoyed seeing the house transform outside. We're going inside next time. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to spread the likes and comments and do subscribe if you're not already. Until next time, 
Have a good one. I know Dickie will. <laughs>